Welcome, guys. I just dropped off Dark Hour Paranormal to the ferry. And there is a, uh, there's a trail out here in Orient Point. Just wanted to check into it a little bit. Whoa. Well, that's weird. I thought I just heard something moving in there. What the heck? out here so it's taking a little time to myself this is a nice beautiful game trail this is definitely not the main trail but we want to poke in a little and see what see what happens we respectfully yep the deer just took off if you can see them back there. Look at all these vines into interweaving, interlocking. Very active game trail. They're just it's a possible structure. See what we can see down in this way. The deer are down here, so there's one. She, she or he waited for me to see what I was. So you're looking right back. Hey, girl. You're okay. Can you show me the way? Wow, look at that. There's like a circle stone there. It might be some kind of underground entrance. You slide it and it opens up. Yeah. Oddly enough, it looks like it's... Oddly enough, it looks like it's got a... Quite a bit of... It's alright, you're okay. It looks like it's closed off. By natural. Let me get a little closer, guys, so you can see what I mean. See how this is? It's like a heavy top, and then there's like bricks on the bottom. I couldn't move that. No way. And then there's a whatever kind of thick brush this is right here. We're gonna head back on trail. So I'm not sure what we're getting into over here. We'll see where that trail goes to. Shock 
second shell. Is that good? This is probably private residence in, in the surrounding areas. See the deer just came through here not too long ago. Something banged in there. Could be people. I don't know where I am. So. That's a power. Like a generator plant. Not a big one, but. Yeah, there is a residence back there. So it could be people. They might have heard me talking and decided to flex a little muscle and make noise. I was too close to their land, maybe. Look at all these interlocking vines. You don't see that often. It's very common here though. Wow, look at it open up. Look at all those birds out there. This is basically the very end of the North Shore. get anything good when I zoom I try to leave it up to you guys in the hopes that you'll pluck something out and post it you can head over to the uh, Facebook group we have yeah look so there's a house out back that way and then there's one here oh the birds are coming over me now Yay! Hello, my friends. Get them bugs. Get them. Get those bugs. Get them so they don't get me. One more house out there. They're very set back. A lot of property, a lot of beautiful untapped land. See if we have signal. Not much. I can't go live with you guys. Or I would try. Let's see if this doesn't hit the ocean. It should. It should. In this direction, 
we should hit Gardner's Bay. I'm assuming these are seabirds. Very, very endangered. Well, they're very well protected. They're, they're a protected species called the piping plover. One of my favorite all time. So this is an absolute treat for me. Hello, my friend. Absolute treat. That's a water horizon. I don't know if you could tell. As an islander, you could tell when the, there's a differential. You see there? That's uh, the horizon. You can actually see the horizon, the water, and Connecticut in the distance. Well, no, actually, I'm sorry. That wouldn't be Connecticut. Connecticut would be on the other side. So that's probably Gardner's Island, something to that effect. We might be walking towards Gardner's Bay. <coughs> Look at that beautiful observatory they have on top of their roof. You can only imagine what they see. That is one of the most high-tech telescopes you'll ever see in your life. Amazing. Amazing. Love to make friends with them, huh? What a beautiful thing they own. Some people do cool things. You know, some people have money and do weird stuff like buy a helicopter, buy a yacht. Some people do stuff like that. They buy a huge, giant telescope. And let me tell you, the sky out here is a wide open sky. There's another place I, I've hiked in the past. It's, it's, it's many miles from here, but it's on the same same strip. Actually, I believe it's on the south shore. But anyway, it, um, I forget the name of it. But they have so many uh, little animals. That probably goes to those people's homes, so we'll leave that alone. They have these little chipmunks that will run up to you and like eat out of your palm. Yeah, look at that, huh? Boom. What a nice opening. Couple of gorgeous beach houses right there. Those are a lot of, those are cormorants. A lot of people keep asking me what, what, what is a cormorant? That is a cormorant. Um, so what they do is they are excellent fishers. Do you see that one? He's drying his wings. He'll sit like that for a while. Um, but they, you know, he's done. He or she is done for now and is drying its wings um, in the wind, in the sun they will go in the water and they swim around like ducks and then all of a sudden they will dive down like a torpedo and they can stay under the water for quite a long time quite a long time so actually that is Connecticut I'm so sorry so um that is the Fence, the do not cross fence. The 
That is Plum Island. That's Plum Island. I do believe that is the fairy dark hour paranormal zone at the moment, to be honest with you. That's the one I just dropped him off at. Pretty amazing. Small world. And yes, that's Connecticut out there. That's Plum Island. There's uh, there's no way to get there. You know, beautiful lighthouse right here. Those are the ferries of the people who work there. They take their own ferries. The people who work there park at Orient Point and they get on those two ferries and they get boated right to that area. And that's where they all go in. And that's that. That's its lighthouse, the Plum Island Lighthouse, the water tower. There is a big tower as well that it's hard to find sometimes. It's on previous videos I've done a for my own though. That's it. I, I'm not going to go any further right now. I've had quite a lot of... Uh, I just think that's really cool that the, the ferry, I dropped them up back there and then came across. And then I walked this way and his ferry came around. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Alright guys. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back the exact same way. It's gonna be a little bit of a quicker hike. But I will film the whole time. So I will premiere this for you all because it's been a little while since I've given everyone a place to hang out. Oh, bunny, bunny. And I do apologize. One second, I do need to stop. I need to stop for a second, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, I'm back, guys. So, um, I just had to take a minute. It doesn't matter why. It, I guess it does, but it doesn't matter to you. It's just kind of a personal thing, so. Um, let me be, cl let me be very specific here. I can't explain it to you, right? But they just gave me a, a very interesting tip. And, um... It's unfortunate sometimes because they say keep to yourself. So, I, you know, I stopped filming. And it's very good info. And I want to pass it to some of you. But I also... Understand why. They don't want it to just be passed out completely. Look at this beautiful, amazing, look at this. Just right here witnessing it all. I'm just right amongst them. Hi. Hi, my friends. Oh my friends. What an experience. What a beautiful experience. Yeah. 
You want to hear them? I'll do zoom mic. They're just hanging out with me. I know I've said this many times. Maybe somebody missed it. Bipedal. That's not a deer that walked through here. Um, the best info I can give is to when you're looking, if you're looking for Sasquatch in particular, stop separating them from the forest, from the woods. Don't separate them from the trees or the grass or the flowers or the leaves or the birds, whatever. That's a fairy. It was very, very loud. Look up there. There's going to be a major shift coming, I just thought, just thought I should let you all know. It's going to be a major shift. And there's going to be a lot of people on the wrong end of it. But, just be happy guys, because if you're here, you're probably on the right side of it.
Yeah, oh, you're a portal party. Oh, my friends. coming along I wanted to have something to bring to you I will catch up with you I'm going to try to take the Montauk stuff as a whole and put it together somehow dangerous danger poison ivy on both sides That with a grain of salt. There's poison ivy everywhere. So, I'm gonna find my way out. It's not far. It's an easy, easy short hike to a beautiful, beautiful. That was a beautiful experience. I'm glad I chose to do it, even though I was tired and hungry. So, we, you know, not alone. From here, here, but thank you for being here. Please, uh, please, if you haven't already, hit the like button. Um, if you would like to donate, we have a PayPal. I've um, been coming out of pocket for quite a bit. I hate asking, but the fact of the matter is. I want to continue to do things. I have a lot of things in mind. But, um, you know, finances do get in the way. So, um, PayPal is the best option. If not, you, I am, it's okay. You don't have to. It's just, you know. But at least, can you please hit the like? Even after the premiere, can you please leave a comment? I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have a blessed day. I'll see you soon.